hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math along pedal algebra problem so here we have this is 4 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 64 and we solve this problem for the values of m so here uh, first uh, our claim or our target is to move the variable terms to the right hand side and we move the exponent and we move the constant terms in the left hand side so first we move this variable term m to the right hand side uh, so in order to eliminate this m uh, from left hand side we need to take the mth root on both of the sides so that when we take mth roots it means that uh, we need to take 1 over m power on both of the sides and it will be written as 4 to the power of m and its whole power 1 over m equals to m to the power of 64 and its whole power is 1 over m and now after that here uh, we need to apply the exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of x to the power of y it is equals to a to the power of x multiplied by y so according to this exponent law uh, this means that if you have exponent to the exponents then these ex exponents are multiplied by each other so according to this rule uh, these two exponents and these two exponents are multiplied by each other uh, and uh, we will get here uh, 4 to the power of m multiplied by 1 over m equals to m to the power of 64 multiplied by 1 over m and now you see here we have uh, this m is cancelled out by this m and we will get here 4 equals to uh, m to the power of here uh, we write this term as 1 over m and its whole exponent is 64 because you see here this 64 and 1 over m are multiplied by each other uh, so uh, according to the exponent law we move this 1 over m inside the term and we move 64 outside the exponent and in write in this form okay so uh, you see here we move our variable terms in the right hand side and now here uh, the time to move uh, the constant terms in the left hand side here we move the 64 in the left hand side for this uh, we need to take the 64th root on both of the sides it means that we will take power 1 over 64 on both of the sides so after take, taking power 1 over 64 we write it as um, this is 64 and its whole exponent is 1 over 64 okay we will take 1 over 64th power on both of the sides so you see here we again multiply this these two exponents are also multiplied by each other according to the above exponent law so this 64 is cancelled out by this 64 uh, and we will obtain here 4 to the power of 1 over 64 equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now you see here uh, in the right hand side we have our base is m so the exponent of this term is the reciprocal of its base so we, we, we can make this type of conditions in the right hand side which means that we make our exponent be the reciprocal of its base uh, for this here uh, we need to working in the left hand side so uh, here we can just multiply 3 and divide by 3 uh, the exponent of left hand side and it is written as 1 over 64 so here we have this mistake we multiply and divide both of these terms by 4 uh, and this is equals to m to the power of 1 over m so here uh, uh, our target is to move this 4 inside the term and we multiply this 4 to the uh, our exponent of this term and it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 and its whole exponent is 1 over 4 multiplied by 64 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now in the next step uh, here we need to uh, find uh, the power of 4 to the power of 4 so 4 to the power of 4 means that uh, we need to multiply this 4 with 4 times so you see here uh, this 4 4s are 16 16 4s are 64 64 multiplied by 4 is equals to uh, 256 so similarly uh, here we need to multiply this 4 with 64 so if you multiply 4 with 64 it will be written as this is 4 times 4 becomes 16 
we write 6 and carry 1 6 4 is a 24 24 plus 1 becomes 25 so it means that 4 times of 64 equals to 256 and 4 to the power of 4 is also equals to 256 and now here after that uh, we need to uh, put the value 4 to the power 4 and 1 over 4 times 64 in the above term so that our above equation is written as 256 to the power of 1 over 256 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m so now you see here uh, on both of the sides we have uh, the exponent be the reciprocal of its base so that now if we compare both of the sides and now if we compare its bases then we get m equals to 256 and if you compare its uh, exponents then uh, you also get the value of m is equals to 256 so from both of these cases we get the same value of m and that is uh, 256 so uh, in the next step here we need to verify this value of m is this value of m satisfied our given question statement or not uh, so that uh, to verify this value we need to copy down the given question statement here so this is 4 to the power of m equals to m to the power of 64 and here we will substitute the value of m on both of the sides so in, if in, in the left hand side we have m is 256 it is written as 4 to the power of 256 equals to 256 to the power of 64 so uh, in the next step uh, here because uh, m is satisfied uh, the given equation only if we have the both of the sides have the same answer uh, so for this uh, we will just write uh, this 256 as this is 4 multiplied by 64 we can uh, find this product uh, on the above steps so 4 times 64 equals to 256 and in the left hand side we have 256 to the power of 64 so here we move uh, this 4 inside the term so it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 and its whole exponent is 64 equals to 256 to the power of 64 so here uh, in the above steps we find the product of or we find the four, power of 4 to the power of 4 so we know that 4 to the power of 4 equals to 256 to the power of 64 and it is equals to 256 to the power of 64. So here you see that clearly both of the sides have the same answer. Uh, it means that the value of m equals to 256 satisfied the given question statement this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos